Hey guys, I just want to let you know I do have a Patreon account, and I would love if you considered subscribing to it. I've got lots of great behind the scenes and extra content for you guys, so please check out the link in the description below. Welcome back to The Wandering Wind, guys. I'm your host, Gregory, and this is The Wandering Wind, your destination for everything related to YouTube, social media, and just fun. So today I want to talk a bit about um, popular game streamer Ninja moving to Mixer and leaving Twitch. So it's not that new of a story, but I wanted to give my own take on um, what this means for the future of uh, Amazon's Twitch, um, because Amazon bought them out, and so it's kind of a um, mixed bag of stuff there. The future of Mixer as a promising new platform for um, game streaming and live streaming for a lot of different smaller creators, and just um, how this will, will change the ecosystem of which platforms are preferred versus others for certain creators. So Tyler Blevins, aka Ninja, has been one of, well, has been the top creator and top streamer on Twitch for a while now. And he gained his popularity playing the game Fortnite, which is a battle royale style, one person wins all um, arena shooter, basically, although it's on an island, so it's more of an open world arena. But... Tyler Blevins made his um, popularity grow by being one of the best at the game. In fact, I'd say that at this point in his life, winning a battle royale is pretty much effortless. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying this from, from what I've seen of his offhand gaming during his um, live stream at Lollapalooza, but... Um, it was pretty, it was pretty dang, dang good. But, um, so, Tyler is a really, really interesting character, mainly because he has such a huge following. And because of this, when he announced recently that he was moving from Twitch over to Mixer, which is a Microsoft-owned platform, so it's exclusively PC and Xbox you can stream from. You can't really stream from any other platform without a capture card, which, you know, is is natural, but it's also quite um quite different. Anyway, um so he he announced that and everyone was theorizing about the rise of Mixer versus Twitch. I wanna kinda of say that this might not actually happen. I mean there might still be a stigma with exclusively live streaming platforms after the debacle that there's been with Twitch not really managing or handling its platform well, mainly in regards to its exclusivity clauses in its contract, which kind of um, blocks a lot of users from streaming on other platforms. You're only allowed to stream there. You can't do much else with that. It's just kind of it's kind of a hell, hellaciously bad idea to do. Um, whereas with Mixer, at least from what I can tell from the um, contract that I went over with my account, there's not really that much of an exclusivity clause or deal in it. Um, so much that it locks you in. Um, rather, it's more of a just generalized policy plan where you don't promote anything racist or violent or anything else. You don't do anything that you're not supposed to do on a widely available platform to all ages, and you're pretty good. Um, needless to say, um, people are, you know, theorizing that because Ninja has a huge following, that he's going to bring a, bring a huge amount of new viewers to the platform, and therefore this is the time to be a new streamer on the platform. I would say that might be correct. I mean, 
I don't know exclusively what kind of, or I don't know exactly what kind of things are going to be um, able to be done with Mixer versus a platform such as YouTube or Twitch. But I know that there are a lot of opportunities if you can manage to grow in the right way to be a successfully paid creator. Um, possibly even more so than being on YouTube and streaming here. Um, man, it's hot. It's been hot the last few days and I am just sweating. Hopefully I lose a few pounds doing this. But, um, you know, just having the kind of ecosystem that Mixer has, being that it's a Microsoft property now, you never know. You never know. Microsoft has a lot of money to throw at it if they want to. Um, they they evidently signed a multi-million dollar contract with Ninja in order to bring him over, which was probably a smart move on his part. And frankly, it might make him a sellout in some people's eyes, but considering the way that Twitch has been going with its multiple controversies and things, there is a huge risk, a huge risk that um, people might, um, you know, <laughs> there's, there's a huge risk that the platform might go down. It really is. It's a, it's a big risk. So having a platform that you can move to that's more stable, at least in the moment right now, is probably the best option he could have made. Um, not to mention it's just, you know, there, there have been a lot of issues with Twitch and um, dealing with its creators and stuff like that. So, you know, at the end of the day, it's your own decision where, wherever you go to promote and, and provide your content. It's, it, it's, you know, I mean, um, PewDiePie went to Dean live, um, Ninja's going to Mixer. Other people have moved to Twitch to YouTube, from Twitch to YouTube. Other people have moved from YouTube to Twitch in the past. It's just anyone's game at this point. It's a matter of where you feel you can grow the best. But beyond that, there's not much more that I can say other than that, that I'm probably going to be um, live streaming on Mixer. At some point, I'm going to start doing streams on Mixer every once in a while to kind of um, build up a, 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 a good following there. So if you guys want to join me there on Mixer, I will leave my profile in the description below. I thank you guys very much for watching and for being here and for having a great day with me. It's been awesome, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you very much. I'll see you again soon. Hey guys, before I go, I just want to thank all my patrons for supporting me every month. It is so good to know that there are people that are willing to put up with me and support me for even just $1 a month. If you guys are interested in getting behind the scenes content, extra videos, downloads of my song covers, and a whole lot more, please make sure to check the link in the description below and maybe consider subscribing yourself. You can do it for just $1 a month, and I appreciate it. Have a great day.